What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, and I hope you got a chance to go out to your local comic book store yesterday. May 5th. Wait, wait, was May 5th, yeah? Yeah, May 5th. Because, yeah, free comic book day, uh, here's what I picked up. Um, My Hero Academia, Ultra Street Fighter 2, and the preview of the Arms graphic novel coming out. But, uh, that's not what I was interested in talking about this week. I'm talking about... Something that's really caught my eye as someone who wants to do more retro streaming, but uh, thing is, hard to do so with the NES and the Super NES without having to double some expensive equipment, but uh, something is in the works for that. A system called the Polymega. If you may have heard of it, you might not have, but uh, they recently put up a video on their YouTube page where they're uh, cranking out the circuit boards for the thing, and uh, the whole project looks super promising, at least for me, at least from my perspective anyway. The Polymega is a modular retro console. Basically what it is, is it's got a base unit and you plug in these modules to it and you can play your old, play your old retro games on it. It also has an optical disk drive for CD-based systems and uh, at launch, they're planning to support modules for the NES, Super NES, Genesis, and TurboGrafx-16, and CD game support for the PlayStation 1, TurboGrafx CD, Neo Geo CD, and Sega CD, with more supports for other systems to come in the future. It's going to be full HDMI with uh, USB and SD card support, full support for sharing to Facebook, Twitter, streaming to YouTube and Twitch, and its own Bluetooth wireless controller, though it will be compatible with the uh, the module con module controller. Com uh, the, the, com the controller is compatible with the systems, the original systems that are with the modules. But uh, basically, that the whole thing looks super promising. A retro console with modular support that can be expanded upon and uh, streamed through HD. I'd say that's definitely a promising thing for people who want to stream retro games. People like me. And they say the price is going to be maybe less than a Nintendo Switch. I think, I think they said like around the price or maybe less. But the idea is definitely something that has me really excited. Anyways, uh... The thing, anyways, next topic I want to talk about is the, uh... Yeah, you might have noticed that I'm all, I've been streaming to both YouTube and Twitch lately. That's basically just to expand my streaming audience and uh, stuff. But uh, just so you know, for that, only the uh, only the archives of non-Nintendo developed games will be saved on YouTube for me because uh, you know copyright and stuff like that. But uh, eh. now I was streaming the Splatfest this week, which was the uh, first round of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tournament. Team we all lost, by the way, sadly. Hmm. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do uh, a stream or one of these videos next week because I will be out of town. I'll be in Minnesota for the weekend for family-related business, but that's definitely... But I will get back to In the Groove the following week for the finals of that Splatfest. Hopefully I'll be able to have a team ready by the start of that stream, so <laughs> look forward to that. I really don't have that much else to say this week, so for my question of the week... Are there any systems you'd like to see supported by the Polymega? As always, leave your answers in the comments. Hey, your comments will be featured in the next episode. Here are last week's winners! And with that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, send me your questions via YouTube comments and I'll... Uh, no, no, not YouTube comments, YouTube messages, and I'll answer my favorite ones in the next episode. First question this week comes from Master of Jean Alter, who asks, Have you ever played a game or watched an anime from the Fate series? I have not. Though, 
It has piqued my interest at one point, just haven't gotten around to it yet. I would like to at some point. Some of my friends are kind of into it. One of my friends is really into it, especially a certain fox waifu. <laughs> Next question comes from James Shepard, who asks, Who would win in a fight, Quint or Flame Hyenard? Let's see, Flame Hyenard has a gazelle mechanoid that shoots missiles, clones, fire breath, but he could probably beat Quint with just his incessant screaming. Quint is just apathetic. I mean, serious, well, at least in his base game. I have actually played a bit of Quint's Revenge, and that's actually pretty awesome, and it kind of makes Quint a bit of a badass who turns on the person who reprogrammed him, so... <laughs> but from base games alone, Quint wouldn't stand a chance. Next question comes from the Dark Seraph, who asks, Favorite MCU movie? The only one I can actually remember seeing was Guardians of the Galaxy, and let me tell you, that was funny. <laughs> it had a lot of fun action, a lot of memorable, the mem characters were memorable. The villain was bleh, but uh, it, it made me laugh. It was a really enjoyable movie. It was the kind, it was the kind of movie that was delightfully stupid, but uh, if it had enough action to make it worthwhile. I think my favorite part of the movie was the one where they finished off the main villain. The main, it's like. Star -Lord, Star Lord grabbed the Power Stone and his friends kept him from disintegrating, and Ronan's like, HOW?! And then Peter just drops the biggest zinger of them all. You said it yourself, bitch. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> Next question comes from Gabby on the Goggle Chew, who asks, What's your opinion on guest characters in fighting games? I actually like the idea. Personally, I think it's a good idea because it could get people who normally aren't into that kind of game to actually give the game a chance. I'm not gonna lie, the whole reason that I ever got into Soul Calibur in the first place was because Link was a guest character in the GameCube version of Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> and uh, the fact that Harley Eno was a guest character in Nitro Plus Heroines I mean, Nitro Plus, Nitro Plus Blasters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Got me to get the game, but... <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> and uh, with guest characters in Tekken 7, Noctis and Geese Howard, and plenty of other guest characters, too, it's a really cool thing. I guess you could say the same about the third-party reps that got into Smash 4. I wonder what big third-party third -party bombshell is going to break into Smash 5. That is, if the new Smash Brothers for Switch is a Smash 5. Eh, I don't know. Last question this week comes from Daniel the Mysterious, who asks, If you could pick one character you don't want to see return for Smash 5, who would it be? Corrin. 